In Maine, we have a lot of offshore wind potential, and that's where the windstorm challenge comes in. It's much more than just coming into my class and grabbing a drill and a saw and making whatever. It's a very specific challenge we're asking them to do. And you know, you're talking to 13 year olds saying, I want you to design and build a model floating offshore wind turbine, but they totally get why we're doing it, the importance of uh, renewable energy. They just think this is a very real project. Right now we're finishing up the base and the ballast, which is the underwater part. So we're about to start building the tower. Well, I'm looking forward to see other people's designs and see how they decided to tackle this challenge. And I'm also looking to also see how people's groups work together because it was really fun, I know, for my group to meet new people. So I'm excited to see how other people work together. There's other students with their projects that look very different than ours. Some look kind of the same. And when you go to Orono, they have the model turbine that actually attaches to your platform base. And you have some sort of ballast to make sure it doesn't uh, tip over. Because then they test it in their awesome uh, world-class ocean engineering lab where they have a wave maker, they have this huge wind tunnel. So it's a real test. The kids get to test their models where real engineers test their models, which is very, very, it's an incredible experience for kids. The other piece is the students create a four minute presentation to some judges that describes a number of things, the design and engineering process they took. So when they're not testing, they're getting ready to present, they present. Then they get to watch other kids from other schools. They get to take tours of the university. Well, since we're learning about our alternative energy sources, it's good to like have this as some background knowledge about how they like kind of work in real life against weather situations. I have more of an understanding on like engineering and design. It was a really good project because we didn't get a lot of like teacher help, so it was really independent and it like felt like it was your own project. Like if I were just to just build this in my class and be done with it, that would still be a cool project. But the kids get to mingle, they get to you know really see this facility. You can't duplicate that in the classroom.